What's going on, beautiful people? Machiavelli Mills TV. So look, y'all, Dwayne The Rock Johnson has said that Vin Diesel's outreach for him to rejoin the Fast and Furious franchise was manipulative, and he once again confirms that he is not returning to the franchise. And quite frankly, man, I feel the rock on this one because I feel like we, the people, are being manipulated and forced to keep watching this franchise over and over again because, honestly, the director and the producers keep beating a dead horse over and over again, they keep milking it when it should have been stopped years ago, in my opinion, right? A lot of y'all may disagree with me, but I feel like this franchise should have ended a while ago. And just like The Rock, I too am tired of the Fast and Furious franchise. Like, no lie, right? But in all honesty, all honesty, Vin Diesel has got to learn to respect other people's decisions, and he got to learn to respect boundaries. If I tell you no in a private conversation and I'm not going to do a, another remake of the movie and I respectfully tell you that... Don't try to take it to the public in order to back me into a corner or put me up, put my back against the wall to force me to do the movie. Because I don't like you trying to pressure me to do it now. That's whack and that's corny, especially when you try to bring your children into it. And then you try to bring you try to bring the late, great Paul Walker into it. Some I promise we promised to him we would do 10 movies, be great and do the try to fulfill the legacy of the movie, so on and so forth. Fam, if I told you I don't want to do it, quite frankly, I don't want to do it. That should be it. Don't try to make me feel bad and tug on the heartstrings of the public and then make him, and then try to make me look like the bad guy if I don't want to do the movie again. Like, come on, fam. That's not cool. That ain't respectful. Because The Rock has said, him and Vin Diesel had a private conversation behind closed doors outside of social media where he told Vin Diesel, privately, privately look, man, I'm not doing any more of the movies. I'm moving forward with something else. And that should have been it, right? But to get on social media to try to write this, make this little post, and try to back him into a corner, I don't respect that at all. People got to know, no means no. If I tell you no, that's it. That's exactly what it is. No, fam. Like, all that, man, like, it's just, that's just way too much. Way too much. And personally, I don't know, man. It just, just might be me. It seems that a lot of people, like Vin Diesel and other individuals on the show, they want the train to keep going, like like Tyrese and them going crazy, going off on the rock and all this. They want the train to keep going because some of the actors in this series only have this franchise going going for them professionally, right? So they get mad at anybody that don't want to contribute to the success of the film. They don't want to come. Uh, he, they get mad at anybody that got box office appeal that does not want to be a part of the franchise anymore because they want the franchise to do numbers and numbers and numbers. And quite honestly, if the if the franchise is really dope, if the movie is great, if the trailer looks amazing. It's going to do the numbers it's supposed to do in the first place, right? And I said, it, I'm I said we're tired of it. I said I'm tired of it personally. But obviously, it's people that's not because they keep watching the movies every time they come out, right? But I feel like it should have been ended a long time ago, in my opinion. But it is very manipulative of, of Vin Diesel to try to pressure pressure The Rock into doing another movie by tugging on the heartstrings of the public, fam. Like, no. Like, if I told you something behind closed doors, don't try to bring it to public in order to make me, to, to put me into a corner. That's like... When you know, like when you was a kid, right? And you knew your mama was going to say no, your people, you knew uh, your mama was going to say no, somebody couldn't spend the night. If you asked them and then by, then you tell your friend, hey, you ask her. She ain't going to tell you no, but if I ask her, she going to tell me no. No, fam. You know the answer going to be no on that way. Don't try to go on, go another route to try to get the answer you want. Like, no, nah, fam. That's what, exactly what the kids used to do. I Look, I can't ask her, can you spend a night? But if you go to her and ask her, if you ask her head up, she ain't going to be able to say no to you. Like, nah, fam, we not going to do that. Like, and he trying to go, he tries to go an alternative route to try to get The Rock to do the movie. And, and he thinking it's going to work. And The Rock stood his ground, as he should have, because if you feel like no on something, let it be that. If you really don't want to do it, it's for a reason. Honestly, a lot of people feel like, there's <laughs> some people that feel like The Rock only joined the franchise to get his spinoff movie or his spinoff check in the first place, right? And I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm with him, though. Like, don't try to, like, put me in... Come on, fam. I don't want to speak to you like that. I'm like, you ain't really my friend. And we know they had a dispute like some years and years back, like five or six years ago, something like that on the set of the movie or whatever. So that let me know, fam, you really ain't, we really ain't need to be having no like type of friendship or no type of relationship outside of that movie because now I know what you're capable of. You're capable of doing some shisty stuff to try to make me look like the villain or the bad guy to the public, the people that really love their franchise. If I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it, bro. Let it be what it's going to be, fam. All that extra. I was like, hell yeah, I'm with The Rock. You know what I'm saying? The Rock says, the door is closed on the Fast and Furious franchise. 
from his end, at least, right? The Rock says <laughs> he is done with that whole, he done with that whole franchise, man. And again, I honestly feel like it should have been ended a few years ago. Like, and I'm, I'm be, listen, I know a lot of people love it. I have never really been the biggest fan of the Fast and Furious franchise, in my opinion. It's just me. I haven't really been, been the biggest fan of it, but I don't tell nobody not to watch it. I don't think they shouldn't watch it and so on and so forth. It's been doing well, but the Rock say, look, if it do, if it, do, if it does well, it's not going to be because of me. It's going to be because of y'all. Y'all rock out and do y'all thing over there. I'm going to do my thing over there, over here. And The Rock is the biggest movie star in the world. He probably got a whole lot of other endeavors lined up, other stuff that he want to do, other stuff that he want to dabble in. Let him do that, right? We know The Rock oftentimes going from here, there, everywhere. And even though, and I, you know, the, the Rock was my favorite wrestler as a child. Like, that's really my, I was just watching wrestling, old old uh, clips of The Rock in WWF during the Attitude Era. I was just watching it, right? Um, but we know, like, man, The Rock, he's the biggest movie star. And, and he, even though he played the same role in every single movie, he's a hero trying to save the world in every single movie he's in. But it always does numbers because, I don't know, man, the people love him. They love his portrayal in movies. They love his action type stuff that he do in movies. And so he got other stuff lined up. Fast and the, Fury, Fast and the Furious franchise is closed. It's not in his future. It is what it is, Vin Diesel. He got to live with that just like Tyrese had to do. The Rock say, what more do you want from me? Like Tyrese was saying. Machiavelli Mills TV, I'm out. Peace.